Hello and welcome to another video. This is a short video about how you can start using this namespace uh, system that threading as you can see. So in this tutorial if you want to follow up, uh, make sure you have a Windows Forms um, application from the templates when you create a project and right after that what you can do is just double click on your form and it will take you to this event, the load event. And right after that, make sure you add the threading namespace uh, at the top. <clears throat> if you're using C sharp, if not, you can import or VB users. So right after that, what you need to do in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you what it does before you before we go step by step. And it's really simple, but you'll see what I mean in a few seconds. I have a label control and a, and a progress bar. <clears throat> so there's nothing special on it, just a regular progress bar. The only setting that I've done is on the style, I chose um, marquee. Now, obviously you can change it, but on this quick, video we're just going to leave it as marquee and what we're going to do is just run it hit play or start debugging and as you can see it's saying loading and as you saw the loading went away and then we saw done and the progress bar is gone so i'm going to restart it it's loading now the idea is to see how delegates work on this tutorial and I'm gonna cancel this so now we'll go to the code <clears throat> and as you can see here I'm gonna run it again so you can see the output on this guy it's looping through I think one through zero to one thousand so at the top uh, at the top you see that the main thread it's writing start of main thread right after that we're starting the second thread which is this one and this is the this is the background thread that is working is doing this count right so that's what the first line is saying hey this is the main thread and we're going to start another one and here's the thread how you can start one now one of the arguments here the parameters to start a thread start and that's what I have here. And as you can see, I'm passing a function. And which is uh, right here at the bottom, which is just a loop. Which is this guy. Thread process. So all you need to do is start the thread and pass a function or method. And that method is going to do whatever you want to do in the background. Now on this one, as you saw, I'm looping, uh, I have this for loop, and here I'm writing to that console, blah, 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 this is zero, one, and increasing. And here I have a sleep uh, in milliseconds, you don't need this, you can take it away, just give it a small pause on it. Now the idea of this video is to show you this. Let's pretend I'm going to start the thread. And I want to update the label. And when I each time in loops, I want to say update here. Something like that. See what happens when I debug. Right as it starts the second thread, I have an exception here. And as you can see, it's saying uh, cross thread operation at valid control label one access from the thread other than the thread it was created on so in valid operation so basically um, the second thread cannot update a control from the main thread that's what it's saying here so the solution is how to use the delegates now the delegates are really simple to use 
here I have two, which is on this one, I have one delegate that it's just a void, it's not returning anything. So here I'm updating the UI, and here I'm just saying, you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't have to be updated or anything. You name it whatever you want, and here I'm just naming it update UI when it's done. So I have two delegates. So here in the update UI, so for this to work, you need to have two methods that have the same signature of the delegates. So as you can see, I have void. So I have another method called void and another one for do some and do some done. So you get the idea. So I'm going to be using this one to update the label text when it's loading. And when it's done, I'm just going to say done. And what I'm doing here is just hiding the progress bar. So very simple, but you need this type of method. Like in this case, it's a void, then your delegate needs to be a void too. You can also have it return something or take in an argument, but on this one, we'll just leave it like that. And on your label, so here on your label, the label has a property called invoke. And this guy takes a delegate, as you can see. So now here we're creating the delegate which is the update UI. So it's calling this guy, this delegate, from the second thread. So once the, it's invoked, the second, the delegate is gonna call the method that it's assigned to. In this case, we're saying, well, delegate, once I call you, uh, I wanna do this, which is this method, which is gonna say loading. And the same thing with the progress bar at the end, when this thread is done, I'm saying, okay, invoke uh, this delegate. And the delegate is going to say, okay, what am I supposed to do? So you pass your method here, and the delegate is going to call or set these values on the main thread, saying done, and it's going to hide the progress bar. So if I play again, it's loading, there's no errors, and I can update the thread at any time. I'm going to restart again. And as you can see, I can move my control as whatever I want. And it's not going to crash. So this is how you can um, uh, build your amps or your Windows forms in this case or in, even in other type like an Android. I'm going to do a different uh, tutorial about Android, how you can do that too. But this is for Windows Forms. So if you have any questions, let me know. And also, uh, let me know if you have any tutorials that you would like to see on this channel. Thank you for watching.